Hey, what's up people? Martin Unix here. And uh, today I'm going to bring you another educative episode. Today I want to show you on how to do uh, lock loops updo on short dreadlocks with the crochet braid extension. And uh, I want to be talking about hair guys. I want to talk about the principles of hair design. And uh, I want to welcome you guys. Let's do it this together. Now guys, we are through with the necessary hair treatments before the styling. We are going to start by doing the interlocked barrel twist. For those who don't know how to do the interlocked barrel twist, I've done a video before about the interlocked barrel twist. You can go back on my channel and have a look on how to do the interlocked barrel twist. So that's the way to go guys. Kindly, those who are, who are new on my channel, subscribe and make sure you go back on my channel. Trace the video about the interlocked barrel twist and uh, have a look on how to, to do the same. So guys, now after doing the interlocked barrel twist on all round, We are going to to secure the remaining tips at the top loosely. We are going to do a crochet at the top. So we need the strands to be loose in order to to free up some space for the crochet braid. Since we are going to be, we will be crocheting through the, the log strands. So guys, securing the, the remaining tips at the, at the top loosely uh, minimizes tension uh, which might occur during the crocheting. Guys, if you are new here on my channel, kindly subscribe, like my work, comment positively, and share to your friends. This hairstyle, guys, is achievable with any type of texture or dreads, but looks better with the medium thickness of the locks. That way, guys, if the drains are medium length with the required form, you won't need to fix an extension. By doing so, the dreadlocks are pinned up on the top front side of the hand so that the loops fall on top. On our case guys, we are going to fix a crochet braid extension since the form or else volume of our dreads is much wanting because the locks are short. Now guys, this is our crochet braid. As you can see, it looks curly. And we are going to kick off by securing the crochet braids at the bottom. And this is how you secure them guys. We're using the crochet hook. We're just going to secure them loosely guys at the bottom. Guys, if you are new here on my channel, kindly subscribe, like my work, comment positively, and share to your friends.
remember remember guys that uh, we secured the the tips on the top loosely so our crochet will be going in between the dread strands with easiness as we secure the crochet braid strands at the bottom so guys today we are going to talk about the principles of hair design let's touch a little bit on that uh, before i start uh, elaborating further on how to to come up with the loops that is uh, how to do the lock loops up do using the crochet braid so guys principles of hair design are a set of guidelines that uh, stylists use for two main reasons one being that uh, to help them create artwork that is both pleasing to the eye and that communicates what the stylist wants secondly is that uh, it helps the styles create more variations on a theme that is giving additional ways to change the composition of the design so guys the five principles of hair design are proportion balance rhythm emphasis and uh, harmony let's talk about the style first guys let's talk about the style a little bit and then i shall come back and elaborate further on the five principles of hair design what you need to know while creating the loops is that uh, guys you insert your crochet loop uh, hook that is and then you hook the strand at certain length that is it might be four inches then you pull it in once and adjust the strand to your required uh, level then repeat the same with the same strand until the end of the strand and this is the way to go about it guys you can see you pull it again in, in once you lose it you loosen the loop to certain level so that uh, we can have uh, nice loops which are resembling each other you do it up to the end guys then you disguise the tip as usual from in ones then you pick another strand guys second strand and repeat the same you pull in ones uh, to certain length and just the length guys to a uh, certain level uh, put into consideration the, the size of your loops just to create that rhythm guys and consistency as well as uh, making loops which can be pleasing to the high it's kind of repetition guys you can see how i'm doing it since we secured our locks at the top loosely you can see our crochet is uh, penetrating in between the lock strands with the easiness that's something you need to bear in mind you also need to bear in mind that uh, if the, the 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 tips at the top are secured uh, firmly guys they might cause tension while, while we are doing the the crochet so guys since seeing is better than hearing we can go back to the principles because I know you can see what I'm doing and you understand guys let's go back to the principles of hair design because uh, those are the principles that govern styling and uh, the are principles which uh, will take you through the styling journey 
One of the principles, guys, number one is uh, proportion. And uh, proportion is the comparative relationship of one thing to another. A general guide for classic proportion is that uh, the hair should not be wider than the center of the shoulders, regardless of the body structure. Secondly, guys, it's balance. This is achieved by establishing equal or appropriate proportions to create symmetry. Balance can be symmetrical or asymmetrical. Something, guys, is symmetrical when it is the same on both sides. Symmetrical balance occurs when an imaginary line is drawn through the center of the face and the two halves form a mirror image. Asymmetrical balance, guys, occurs when the two imaginary halves of an hairstyle have equal and visual weight but are positioned unevenly. The third principle that governs hair design, guys, is uh, rhythm, and it's very crucial. Rhythm is a regular position or recurrent pattern of movement in a design. An example being that uh, tight curls are fast rhythm, while long waves are slow rhythm. The fourth principle, guys, is emphasis. You can also call it uh, focus. So, guys, emphasis is also known as focus. This is what draws the high first before it travels to the rest of the design. Now guys, we are going to the last uh, principle that uh, govern hair design. And uh, the last principle guys is harmony. This is the visually satisfying effect of combining similar or related elements of a network together in a unified way. This is the sense of cohesiveness between the elements in a composition. The repetition of design elements like color, line, texture, space, and form is one of the easiest way to create or else to achieve harmony to create a composition. Just to bring you up to date guys, don't be afraid of being different. Be afraid of being the same as everyone else.
Guys, if you are new here on my channel, kindly subscribe, like my work, comment positively, and share to your friends. After finalizing on uh, doing the crochet of the braids on top, guys, you need to adjust your loops to certain level. That is, uh, you, you can loosen the, the, the shorter loops so that you can adjust them to equal level with the longer loops. It's wow guys, it's amazing, it's a captivating look, you see, you can try it guys, try it out, it's a nice style for those guys with short dreadlocks, 
it's a temporary extension guys it's lovely it's your first time to watch this make sure you look for the right loctician who can take you through this journey thank you for your support guys i love you